So what, what do I do? Do I just hand back my philosophy degree? Well, no. you should do, actually. Set fun to it, seeing as with some tobacco see, paper. You are jealous because you didn't get into Bristol. The thing is, as far as I'm concerned, as long as you explain the context, it's all right. Uh, this, this whole thing about Max Mosley, are we going to give back every piece of money which was done in ways that we now today consider illegitimate? Let's give away most of Britain's wealth, because it was built on, a, on an empire which involved slavery, which involved the subjugation mm. of entire nations. Or alternatively, we say the past is the past. We have to know mm. the past. But we can't rewrite the past. And how about we turn that six million pounds into something good now? Well, if they're that bothered about, you know, all this slavery and this sort of thing, then perhaps they should go and go to China or something or, or you know, do some sort of... Some sort of, well, they probably wouldn't dare go to China and, and protest there or do anything like that. Some countries, if you take down the, the statue or, or an image of a leader in a, in a, in a room, is actually against the law. I think you have to embrace history, and I totally agree with what Lembert's saying about the consistency. You can't go back, dredge back all the money and say, we're going to get rid of it. But this is something that's happening right now. Money does talk. They want the £6 million, and you say it is an inconsistency in how they're acting. It's hypocrisy. But a lot of people are offended, yeah. the anti-Semitic connotations of where that money comes from. It is offending people, and you've got to recognise that. And Oxford University is an institution, all the examples you've given in the past, they're not being consistent.